Hi friends, it's Mike and Nancy. And do you know what today is? It's cruise day. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we're getting uh, we're getting ready in our hotel. We've got our luggage back here. Um, we're getting um, all tagged up. We're going to show you that process for embarkation day. And today we're going to show you that whole process getting from your hotel, uh, getting to the cruise port, getting on board, and the first things we do. And we're going to show you about something we forgot. We forgot something. <laughs> and so stay tuned. We'll show you what to do if you forget this thing too. Welcome to Living Phase 2. So friends, our daughter and her husband live in the Dallas area, so about five hours from Galveston, and we went to see them first. Well, we left some of our things behind at her house, not thinking we would need them for the cruise, and unfortunately one of those items was the luggage tag. Um, our travel agent, she does such a nice job. She will, she'll laminate our luggage tags for us. They're in color. But before we had a, a travel agent, we would do this ourselves. So it's, we just went to the conference room here at the hotel or the office and they were able to print them for us. Thankfully, right next door, there was a Kroger. So we got some packing tape. And this is how we did it before for um, years, before we had our travel agent. And, and our luggage tags have never come off. So it tells you there's there's little fold fold lines here. Can you, can you see that? It's very uh, light, but fold, do not cut. And so if you fold it, you're going to get a good thickness in the paper here. And now we're going to just laminate it ourselves with the, the packing tape we bought at Kroger this morning. I can get it. Here we go. Now we have a really good sturdy tag. And let's just run over here and we'll put it on the suitcase. We'll put it on old Oscar the Grouch here, our, our dirty old green suitcase. I probably cut that piece of tape a little bit too long, but that's all right. We're going to make sure it's on here good. There, this is to the outside, so it shows our cabin number and our, the, our um, floor that we're on. So the cabin stewards can easily read what, um, what um, room this is going to. You can see how... <laughs> <laughs> that's how strong it is so. so now that we got our bags tagged and we're just waiting to go down to our uber one of the things that we always do is ch keep checking that royal caribbean app it's this one right here everything they do on the ship is through the app so you need to get this and the nice thing about being embarkation day now they start opening things up on the app that weren't open before so as an example if you go to the daily planner and i'll show you some close-ups of this we can take a look at different activities going on and scroll through them and then once we do that then you can select uh, and put into your personal calendar different activities so let's go down in here and we'll say, oh, adult, it's, uh, adult farewell karaoke, add to calendar. So it's not a reservation, but what it does then is you go to your personal calendar right here on day five. And if you scroll down, there it is, adult farewell karaoke. So it, that way you just kind of remember the favorite things that you're going to want to do. You can start populating your calendar here because it is embarkation day. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure you have done, if you have not done it already, 
is to make your my time dining reservations and so you're going to want to take a look at those and um, and make sure that if you have my time dining that you've made your reservations throughout the cruise looking at this calendar and saying what time do you want to go eat or not so that you can have those times uh, you can't do them for the main dining room if you have the dining package but if you don't if you're planning on eating in the main dining room get those reservations in and you can do that um, before you get on the ship so we'll see you after we get to our uber and uh, we'll keep going here on embarkation day Okay, we're heading out to go get our Uber now. So, and uh, we got to get rid of our Bucky's cup too because on the drive down, you're in Texas on the way to Galveston. You got to stop at Bucky's and get some brisket, some nuts, beef jerky, whatever. And we enjoyed that too. So, on your way to Galveston, be sure to check out I Bucky's. I've never too. been to Bucky's before. That, it, that was uh, quite pretty, the, pretty good. Quite the convenience store. Yes, it was. <laughs> it's, it's worth a stop, friends. We'll see you in our Uber. Here we are. Yep. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> How's your day going today? Oh, going good. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna direct me where to park. There's not that many people, so I might be able to park just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. But they're real strict. Do you like to see the little blue tarps? The canopies? Yep. Right there? That's where the little pickup is. Okay. The Just to the left over here? Yes, sir. Yep. It's All right. right across okay. to that area and they'll pick you up right there. So a bag drop Just off here, it looks like. Right turn. He's going to force me all the way down. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, yeah. Do you want them checking your luggage? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sir. Perfect. It's nice. like a little little glimpse of the new terminal over there. Oh. Well, we've been here a total of 10 minutes and we are ready to walk on board. Oh, sorry. So don't forget to come in and go to the My Time Dining desk if you have not made your My Time Dining reservations. And if you have any special requests, now is the time to make them. Okay, so we're going to do one of the most important things you have to do right when you get on board, and that's check in at your muster station. Nancy's getting out her CPAS card. CPAS card. Okay. You're 10, oh, Nancy. Oh, we're 10. We are 10. I'm Scania. It's me. Okay. Oh, yes. Hey, yeah. Where's the Okay, so here we are on Grandeur. It literally took us 15 minutes, maybe. 10? Yeah, we went through the terminal super easy. We arrived at our arrival time. We, uh, um, we went and uh, um, did our muster drill. We got a note from uh, Royal Caribbean on our Royal Up bid. It was not accepted, so uh, we checked on that. Uh, we can't go to the rooms till one o'clock, which is normal. So we're gonna head up and uh, get a little bite to eat, get a drink. We even stopped at the My Time Dining Desk to put in a special yep. request. And yep, to make yeah. sure that we get a, a table for two. Um, and, uh, and we had that, and so I think we're all set. So all right. at this point, um, we will show you around the ship a little bit, and uh, we'll show you the room when we get in at one o'clock. Sounds good. So we're gonna go and uh, grab a bite to eat at the solarium. One of the things I love about these classic Royal Caribbean ships is the Crown, uh, Viking Crown Lounge.
So here we are, only a few minutes into boarding. We went to the uh, the bar. Nancy has her traditional pre-cruise <laughs> pina colada. I've got a mojito, and we're all set. We're just going to wait till our room opens up, and we're going to go here in a minute and uh, go to the solarium and grab some uh, grab a little dinner. Cheers, friends. Cheers. So we're going to go and check out the solarium uh, buffet. It's right here. So here's a very quick pro tip. Some this onions. is the Solarium Bistro, which is it's very small, but if you want to and avoid the crowds in the wind jammer, um, there are there's no one here. And you can have a salad or a great here. roast beef sandwich or some pizza when you're bored. Well the solarium is really nice in here. It's a comfortable temperature. Plenty of seating and a good looking pool in the middle. So one of the things we love about classic Royal Caribbean ships is the Viking Crown Lounge. They've kind of eliminated that in some of the newer ships. And it's really quiet, of course, on boarding day. But you see the spectacular view you get out of these windows. They'll have all kinds of events here in the evenings, and we'll show you some of that later in the cruise. So a quick little pro tip here. When you get on ship, especially if you get on early, don't be afraid to explore everywhere. Mm -hmm. It may seem awfully quiet. It's like, oh, should I go to that area? They'll have any areas marked very clearly that you're not supposed to go to. And some of the areas that uh, may not be populated uh, may be fully open to you. So don't, mm -hmm. uh, don't miss out exploring new areas of the ships. That's right. Like, we'll do this and flip it around. Maybe I will. There we go, and we'll show you where we're going here. So completely quiet. This is up in the Viking Crown Lounge at the top of the ship. And uh, this goes back here to Azumi, the sushi restaurant. And, uh, and there's nice little quiet alcoves and places to go here. Um, completely quiet, but it's also completely fine for you to, uh, to be here. Okay, quick little pro tip. Take the stairs wherever you can <laughs> to work off all those pina coladas. And, uh, <laughs> so we're, we're going between the decks, kind of exploring the ship, which we like to do on day one. And uh, always, uh, always take those stairs when you can. That is right. Here are the shops Oops, on deck me. six. We're on deck six. We're on deck six. We got a freestyle machine right beside Ben and Jerry's. And there's the art auction. So we're on deck six and we're entering the schooner bar. Which is classic. Every Royal Caribbean ship has a schooner bar. Mm -hmm. And in fact, a lot of them, probably not this one, <laughs> but a lot of them actually add a gunpowder smell for all the ropes and the idea of the, of the bar. Thank you. I think this is the Safari Lounge, no, the South Pacific Lounge. That's where we're headed now. So they'll have a lot of things like karaoke and different uh, trivia and game shows and stuff back here too. This is good size. Okay, so it's after one o'clock. We get to go down and get in our room now. After being on Odyssey and <laughs> Symphony, yeah, this is, uh, this is it's kind of walk. a pleasure. <laughs> it's like everything is so close. <laughs>
Here we and go. here we are, and you see they have the key here okay. outside. Go ahead. Here we go. Ready? Okay, this is a junior oh. suite on on Odyssey. Lovely. Or on Odyssey, on Grandeur. Oh. <laughs> I just said Odyssey. Okay, got a nice little sitting area. King size bed. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom. We're supposed yeah, to have a nice I'm bathroom. Unload my backpack here real quick. You want to open up the bathroom sure. here and we'll see. Turn on some lights here too. Got, we got a little plate of cookies. Yeah, for our, yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, a bathtub. Let's see. <laughs> Oh. oh, sorry. It's on the inside. There oh, there you go. go. Okay, so again, you get a little more space. Wow, that's like a full size bathtub. Yeah, it's a full size bathtub. In a, a junior suite. So, so a little bit more space here. That's probably the biggest difference. Okay. Um, you got some closet space. Yeah. Yep, we got here. some robes there. Yes, we do. Okay. Life jackets are up above. Just in case. You know, yep. we need them about every other cruise. So. Right. <laughs> Got to know where those are. And we'll take a look out here on our balcony. Really good sized balcony, actually. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Don't have a lounge chair. No. Nope. But. Nice, nice movable space. Yeah, pretty good sized space. We can move around. Yeah, so nice, nice junior suite. Um, here on Grandeur of the Seas for a very affordable price. Hi friends, so I want to show you it took us 25 minutes to fully unpack. We'll start here, this is the, the front door and we put some of our magnetic hooks up to hang hats. We've got some good storage right here. This is the stuff that we'll just grab and go. Sunscreen, our coffee cups, beach bag, hats. Coffee? Those are the pina colada cups. Okay, <laughs> all right, the pina colada cups. <laughs> Nancy's morning coffee cup. Uh, um, I've got my clothes hang up, got Mike's got his side, I've got my side, shoes on the floor. Um, put my shirts in one of the drawers there and shorts as well. And there just is really a nice amount of storage here. Got my cosmetics and things in here. You know, we were on Odyssey here a few months ago and we raved about the storage on Odyssey. And now granted, this is a junior suite, mm -hmm. but I'm very impressed with the amount of storage in this room. Right, I think we've got one, th I've got my CPAP set up. I don't have it plugged in yet. So we've got to, we've got to figure out the, um, electrical system we've got an extension cord we've got the magnets so we can run hooks i can run it up over the ceiling and down or i can run it across the floor but i'm kind of hoping i'll find another outlet on that side of the bed but um i just i put some of my socks and things in here mike has this side we've got our camera and computer stuff up above mike's got a little storage on his side of the bed the um the footrests also open up, so if you needed to put anything, just tons of storage. There, there is, there's plenty. And point out of the storage. suitcase under the bed there. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yes, we had been told that suitcases were hard to fit under the beds in grandeur, but I mean, you saw Oscar the Grouch earlier. It's a big suitcase. It's probably about as big as you can can fit, and we've got all of our suitcases. Um, things now that we're not using under the bed oh there's a couple more storage spaces here even the mirrors open up there's storage in there as well um, I put my journal there there's some storage down here I mean there's, there's a, an amazing amount of storage here the only comment I'd have in the room it's a great room yes grandeur is you know Grandeur is 
flip it around so you can see me. Granger is a bit of an older ship, mm -hmm. and it is showing its age a little bit. But you know what? It's fine. I mean, no, it's not Odyssey or Symphony or Wonder uh, on Royal Caribbean, brand new, but it is a... Um, I think it, the ship is very nice. It's mm -hmm. this is very doable, and for the price you get this, where you get a junior suite for an entire cruise for less than a thousand dollars for two people, you can't yeah. beat that with a selfie stick. <laughs> so. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Thanks, friends. See you in a bit. So we've pretty much got our day one under our belt. Uh, after we finished organizing our room and doing all that, we went to the solarium, just sat out, had a drink, uh, did, went for a swim. And one thing we forgot to mention is while we were waiting for our room, one of the crew members came by, and this will happen quite frequently on boarding day, and talked to us about specialty dining. We had actually decided not to do uh, specialty dining on Grandeur. Just there's only a few specialty dining restaurants. We'd done it just recently on Odyssey, and um, but he made us an offer we couldn't refuse. Well, he asked us about well, what about the chef's table? Oh, well, we've never tried the chef's table, so uh, let's we thought let's let's give it a whirl, and and he did um, cut us a deal. They yes. were trying to fill it up and. It was delightful. It, it I mean, it, it was really, really good. Um, and and the company was good. There were only five of us that were there, and just just got along really well. But it was a six course meal. So course number one, I'm going to go through these. All of them were paired with with a beverage. Uh, the first five were paired with, with wine, with specifically. Wine. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. with wine, and then the dessert course with an espresso martini. Mm -hmm. So uh, course number one was uh, scallops. It was some thinly sliced scallops with honey and some mm -hmm. herbs and, and other ingredients that it was quite delicious. Mm -hmm. Course number two was a smoked uh, tomato soup over uh, homemade croutons and some creme, homemade creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was excellent. It oh, was it was good. very good. Yeah. Course number three was a lobster salad, and so it was a cold, um, a cold lobster dish that they had poached the lobster, then sliced it up. It wasn't really a, on, on lettuce or anything. Um, they had put a vanilla sauce over it, and it was accompanied by um, um, some mango. Um, mm -hmm. A mango puree. puree. Yeah. And uh, course number Br four Brunzino. was the fish. Uh -huh. The fish over uh, some vegetables mm -hmm. that were really good. And I'm not a big fish guy, and this Brunzino was excellent. The skin was just, uh, as you know, we're, uh, as many of you watch our channel mm -hmm. know, we're barbecue judges. It was bite through, mm -hmm. perfect skin. It was not fishy skin. It was very it good. It was delicious. Yeah. Uh, of course, five was a filet mignon. It was a nine ounce filet. They had it over um, mashed potatoes that had truffle butter mm -hmm. on it. Um, it was, they, they said With they were cooking. a few cooking, vegetables. Yes, mm -hmm. they said they cook it um, medium, medium rare. rare, but it was, mine was really more rare, but it was, oh, mm -hmm. that mine was, was perfect. That was yeah. actually my favorite course mm -hmm. of the evening. Mm -hmm. And then course number six was a chocolate sphere that, I mean, it was Mm -hmm. good. It, it, it was, was huge. It was I a couldn't good finish size it. chocolate yeah. sphere, a chocolate shell that they had put together. It was served over um, some Rice Krispies that had white chocolate and anise on it. And then they poured a hot caramel sauce over the top, which, which melted the sphere and opened it up. And inside the sphere then was uh, a little chocolate cake with with a little ice cream in that and then on top of that was a peanut butter mousse mm -hmm. so and and that came with the espresso martini oh my gosh it was all just decadent mm -hmm. it, it really was right and i think the pro tip here is um don't don't hesitate if uh, one of the crew members is asking about doing special dining don't hesitate to ask for a discount because they're trying to fill those rooms and they so you know say okay is you know can you give me 20 or 30 percent off and most of the time they you know if they're trying to fill them they have that leeway to do that and you can have a great experience like this even if you didn't necessarily plan it before you get on board even at wonderland on a previous cruise we got mm -hmm. 50 percent off yes so. yeah well after we finished the after we finished the um chef's table mm -hmm. we went to the comedian uh phil oh, 
Pellison, I think it is. Yeah. Pal- Pal- yeah. Oh sorry. gosh. <laughs> sorry, Phil. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> you were really funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Were little. Really it was a quick show, maybe twenty. I think it's set only lasted 20, 25 minutes, um, and it was in the main Palladium Theater. And then after that, you know what? It's been a busy day. We're tired. Yeah. Yep. We've um, gotten we, up early. <laughs> mm-hmm, we uh, we hit the rack and and uh, we're going to go on to day two. So um, please, uh, if you have not done so yet, uh, we sure appreciate it. If you think these videos are helpful for your next cruise, your next trip on Granger, um, hit the like button if you think they're good and subscribe. And we'll continue this series uh, every day that we're here on Granger to let you know. And we'll continue into day two uh, tomorrow. It's a day at sea. That's right. All right. Thanks, friends, for watching. Take care.